ultimate route to JE success with JE test prep app by Extra Marks, adaptive testing platform, India's top faculty, micro scheduling, live and recording sessions, doubt solving sessions, national level weekly test, analytics and reports. Download the app now. Hello students, myself uh, Dr. Gaurav Kejriwal and uh, I'm teaching chemistry from last 16 years. In uh, this 16 years course of time, I have produced so many top rank students in various IIT and medical entrance examination of different states and central level. Today, we will study the chapter atomic structure and we will study some so here is the chapter for, for us today is atomic structure. In this chapter, atomic structure, we will study about the structure of atom, basic structure of <coughs> atom, how the atoms are formed and what are the different contents of atom and uh, what about their discovery and various other parameters. The key concepts which we will learn today will be atom, cathode rays, then properties of cathode rays and then we will shall discuss about electron. Okay guys, so now let's proceed with atom. So what is atom? If I ask you a very simple question, what do we mean by atom? Then Atom is smallest part of matter. Atom is defined as the smallest part of matter or you can say it is indivisible part of matter. Although this is made up of, atom is made up of electron, proton and neutron. These are the various contents of atom. Every single atom contain electron, proton and neutron out of which neutron is the heaviest fundamental particle. So the order of mass is mass of neutron is highest then comes mass of proton and in the last mass of electron. Let me mention you that mass of electron is very very lesser than the mass of proton and neutron. We shall discuss these parameters later in this chapter only. So today, in this content of atom, what are the content? Electron, proton and obviously neutrons. Protons and neutrons, they are collectively called as nucleons. They exist in nucleus and they are called as nucleon. So what is the mass of electron? Mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms or it is 1 upon approximately 1836 AMU. AMU is atomic mass unit which is nowadays also called as U, which means unified mass. <clears throat> then mass of proton is 1.6742 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram or 1.0078 AMU. <clears throat> and mass of neutron is 1.6749 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilograms or 1.0087 AMU. So what are the electron, proton and neutron? <clears throat> what are the charges? See, electron is negatively charged, 
proton is positively charged and neutrons are neutral the magnitude of charge the amount of charge present on electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and for the proton it is same it is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb but the difference is this is positively charged and of course it is neutral so the charge is zero right guys so these are the atom this was about the atom and the content of atom now here comes the cathode ray the question is what do we mean by cathode ray how can we produce cathode ray what is cathode ray and what are the properties of cathode ray right guys so William Crook did some experiment regarding cathode rays, right? He took the glass tube in which both at both the ends electrodes were present. He connected this glass tube along with the battery of variable voltage and of course high voltage <coughs> and this tube was filled by gas at very low pressure so when the gas is uh, any gas is present in the u shape uh, in the glass tube in which uh, very at very low pressure and which is connected with the battery if we apply very high voltage at the ends of these plates then because of the voltage the atoms of gas or the molecules of gas present in this tube they become ionized and suppose gas x is present in this tube after applying voltage this molecule atoms of gas x will convert into x plus n electrons so you will get so many positively charged ion of the gases and also along with them we will get plenty of electrons so plenty of electrons are present in this glass tube after applying voltage these electrons will collectively move towards the positive plate see this is the plate which is connected with the positive end of the battery so this is positively charged plate these electrons which are uh, produced in this uh, ionization will collectively move towards the positively charged plate this plate guys and they travel as the beam they travel as a beam of electrons this beam of electron is called as cathode ray <coughs> this beam of electron is called as cathode ray so what are the properties of cathode ray let me tell you first of all they are negatively charged they are negatively charged they must be they are made up of electrons so definitely they must be negatively charged because they are negatively charged if you push cathode rays in the electric field they will turn towards positive plate where voltage is positive as they are negatively charged so in the presence of electric field they will turn towards the positive plate
Now, in the path of the cathode ray, they produce shadow of the object. So they produce shadow of the object in their path. So they produce the shadow of the object in their path. Which represents what guys? <coughs> this simply represent that they travel in straight line because only the light which travels in straight line can produce shadow. One more thing I want to mention. If you put any mechanical pulley in their path, they rotate it. Suppose any mechanical pulley this kind of mechanical pulley is present in their path they will rotate it. Cathode rays will rotate this pulley either clockwise or counterclockwise. That doesn't matter. But the point is they rotate this pulley. How they able to rotate this pulley? Because they apply mechanical force. Because pulley can be rotated only by applying mechanical force. So they apply mechanical force. They transfer momentum. Right guys? So what are the other properties of cathode rays? <coughs> if any metallic foil is present in their path if any metallic foil is present in their path it becomes warm or in other words, you can say <coughs> they can, I'm sorry, they can heat the mechanic metallic foil present in their path, which simply represents that cathode ray show heating effect of current. show heating effect of current. One more point is I want to mention that a specific charge. You know guys what is specific charge? It is ratio of charge by mass. A specific charge of cathode ray not depends upon the type of gas present in tube because as you know they are made up of electrons so it doesn't matter <clears throat> what kind of gas is present in this tube see in this tube whether you fill sodium or you fill helium or you feel neon, that too will produce electron and electrons are always same for all. So their charge by mass, specific charge, not depends upon the type of gas which is present in tube. Discovery of electron. See, discovery of electron was done by Sir J. J. Thomson in Somewhere around 
1896 while he was performing experiment over the cathode rays during experiment regarding cathode ray during the experiment regarding cathode ray later he was awarded nobel prize he was given nobel prize in 1906 for this great discovery of it is j j thomson let me correct it it is j j thomson then charge of electron we have already discussed but let's discuss it once again charge of electron is negative it is negative in nature and magnitude is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb see this is the charge of electron in coulombs you can also calculate charge of electron in another unit that is esu let me tell you that one coulomb is <coughs> excuse me 3 into 10 to the power 9 esu and what is esu this esu is electro static unit So one coulomb is three to ten to the power nine ESU. So the charge of electron is one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb, or one point six into ten to the power minus nineteen coulomb. We'll convert it into ESU. So we'll remove coulomb and multiply it by three into ten to the power nine. So we will get. 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 esu so the charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb or 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 esu right this was about this lecture in the end uh, i would love to thank you guys thank you very much please enjoy the topic and we will discuss another things in the next class thank you for more such videos please like share and subscribe to extra marks test prep youtube channel